Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, you know what? Hmm. Kuna vanya bantu nje, but tanda it drama unnecessarily. There's this story that I just saw right now. We go sip cafe. Ah, uchomi actually has it. Ah, uguti. Rosim Dennis out there suing U Sol Penduga McGee and Tolles Mo apparently for the Derigoti Derigoti score. The Derig, I'm not going there. Statements that were uh, made by U Tolles Mo when he was there on McGee's podcast. So I'm sure say akumbula song yoku tila piana umagale wabiza uruzim tene all names as nga sim nandu o batanat o mtuanaga satani o ya uzusis. So for that she's now demanding uh 200,000 rands including an apology from both uh, Utoles Mo McGee and Sol Penduga, and as for McGee and Sol Penduga, they had better uh, offer an apology and run that apology for 30 days straight on the McGee's podcast. We are I'm sorry, guys. Really, we are Hmm? Uting a sum of tallest most uh, medication actually something a little bit stronger she's mad she loves drama Utandi drama guys let me tell you about the time that i once met urozimten maybe that is why i'm feeling dobazan this lady once upon a time, long, long ago, around 2003, 2004, I was working in Begandis and the restaurant was full. It was packed to the brim. Ne? And there was a problem in the kitchen, so no one's food was coming out. And the restaurant had only big names, which made it even more chaotic like the who's who of um the entertainment sports or in politicians everyone was there ne? okay fine upstairs i had uro zimten who was sitting in the non-smoking section uh right next to the stairs right next to her i had on the balfour and some yellow bone cheek she was he was he was always with in the restaurant and then downstairs there was U alex shakwani and his crew U alex shakwani never moved alone like whenever he comes in Tables had to be joined. It will be like Abuma table for six, table for eight, wherever, whenever Alex Shakwan is in there. And you will get my MECs, like one of the MECs, I forgot what his name is, used to even own a store right uh, below us in Main Lane, uh, the Yavisan store, which was the Yamatu Wishamat Wamatota, like expensive tailor made suits. Uh, and socks, um, um, mostly they were dealing with my shirts, nama socks, gane. Yeah. So what happens is with with us the waiters, manji busy running around and we are panicking and everything. The kitchen is stuck. Nothing is coming out of the kitchen. It's one of those days like when you try to touch the kitchen door, the head chef can literally, you know, you can actually hear his voice the moment. If you've ever worked in a restaurant, it's so much fun, guys. It's like, it gives you this adrenaline. It keeps you on your feet. It's, ooh, it's, it's a vibe, guys. You hold that kitchen door and the, you, you, the, 
head chef just throws an eye to you like, come in, I want to see. Test me. Come into my kitchen. <laughs> and you must not doubt. If you go in, you're going to, you might be thrown with a cup or something, you know, because uh, the energy is like that much. You must not test the kitchen <laughs> when the heat is that much. And that time we are also feeling the heat outside. But then the ambience is still mellow. Nobody is aware that we are actually actually The ambience is nice. The, the, we are keeping all clients informed. Uh, there's a kitchen. There's a drama in the kitchen. So there's some drinks that are going to be on the house and whatever. Abo big names, they don't want free booze because it's like messing with their street cred. The owner loves those gay. Abo Alex Shakwan were like, don't worry. Don't worry, relax. Abo Ngon de Palfo were like, forget about it. You know? Guze or Rose in ten. Guze or Rose in ten. Rose in ten, eh? We tried autism explaining. This lady looked at me and she was like, Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? And I was like, And I can't even match the energy she asked me with that question with. Was Guti Otayake was, which is why actually she was pissed and I understood. But then, woman. Yeah, but I mean, once you look down on me, even if you're right, forget it. Forget it. Let's go it again once. I'm just that type of a person. Urozimtene, she was having uh, a light dinner. She was having herself uh, toasted um, ham and cheese, something like that, or ham and tomatoes, something very light with some greens on the side ne? she was having something very light it was something that's supposed to take five to ten minutes uh both to place an order and to get to her table it's how simple her order was but then however it's a simple order on a chaotic day so it's 30 minutes after she ordered ne? and was what Drinks have been offered to her on the house and the situation has been explained. Uti, there's problem in the kitchen and whatever not. So it gets to be 30 minutes after and we are still checking on our clients. Uti, you know what? When I get to her table, she goes like, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? And I was like, Nina lady, I never saw you ever in my life. Swear to God. Nina, never saw you. I do not know you. Am I supposed to know you from somewhere maybe? Do, do you always come into the store? She was like, who's your manager? Who's your manager? And I was like, let me get time for you. Then I went to the owner and I told him that lady, B, uh, she's an actress on a uh, generation. You know, we start downloading the profile into the owner. This is who she is. This is the name. And uh, the order is this. And this is how now she's reacting to us. The owner goes over there and, you know, I still remember what he when he got there one of his hands was behind his back he was actually hiding he bilga rosin den he because he was there to give her the bill to open the bill in front of her and write void on it good don't worry lady your bill has been paid in full so 
o o velho maga fica lá piana e goes over to Rosen Dene and goes like, ma'am, we apologize. I understand this was your order. Actually, we pride ourselves in speed, in good service, and this and that. When you're here, we want you to be at home. And he, ha ha, you know, I can get somebody to get you more drinks. You know, what is happening is not good. Ha ha ha. Rosen Dene was like, no, don't worry. There's no problem. No, I understand. I'm actually, you know, enjoying the the ambience of this place i really like what you did with this place you know the decor the you know who's your interior decor hey guangatini Ooh -wee. i can be wife number two i'm standing there and i'm going like ah okay Woman, right after Ungi give her. After Ungi give her to the last. Now you're right next to the owner. Why? Is it because he's the owner? Is it because he's white? What's the situation? So right there from that moment, there ain't no love lost between this heart of mine and the name called Rosinten. Bona guys, I do not even watch anything in Rosinga What? Wangi pu malumfaz. I know, I know it's sh <laughs> it's shallow and maybe childish to many, but then Mina, it was like anyeke. So now let's go to the issue, the present issue, which is the only reason I was telling you that story is so that you can, you can form your own opinion away from uh, the commentary that I'm making. Because Mina, I'd rather you disclose. Yeah, but so that we all know what he we can actually also in relation to the commentary see is it fair commentary or is it be, are you giving that commentary simply because une guam against somebody yes i think that's um why i'm telling you that story Uguti, i want you to also judge that because maybe i'm just having a guam and not able to be fair to Uruzim Den. But then, however, I don't think I'm being unfair to the lady when I'm saying, Uyashanya, Uruzim Den. She's full of herself. She needs to sit down and shut up. We are tired of this thing, Yoguti, uh, these celebrities, Naboz uh, Banbani. They think that they are going to come out here and be badly behaved and use all types of things to try and shock us into realizing uguti basase corner cause corner manje um as far as urozim dene being in the public eye she has actually gone flat she has actually gone flat as opposed to those days when she was on generations like she was even able to go like do you know who i am so i really feel Konamanje, she's using this issue just pella to uh, gain some relevance to herself and it pisses me off Uguti. they are using the platform of rape in order for this them making a very serious issue to become cheap guys every second as i am sitting here there are women out there there are boys out there who are busy paying rape 
every minute as I'm speaking. And these people are taking that issue and they are cheapening it. And I am wondering, Uwuti, can't courts actually before even the court it gets to the court why is a seller piano good clerk of the court can they just throw some things in the dustbin immediately when the person comes in and utters them because seriously r-a-p-e victims and survivors manje gabi Seriously, but try like a gabi. Cause Urozim ten and Funoazimina, Uguti, Conamanjo, Urozim ten, Uguyangaye, guys. Uguyangaye, beggar expect a Uguti from Utolismo. What type of reaction, Yena, Afuna Utolismo to have? Let's, let's, let's forget about a uh, about being traumatized let's forget about Paula let's forget let's just say a male guy yes gonna laba I'm a total I'm a diplomatic by nature but then this is the issue that's on the table and that man is the one lo iluguti u ungu menziwa what reaction do you want out of that guy while on that one, let me try and give you a snippet of um, of a time when I actually experienced a tallest mall in my life. Just a quick one. Ne? Um, there was a time when I was still a lay counselor and everybody knew that when an RAPE case lands on my table, definitely definitely a conviction yeah guys i will rally the community like nobody's business we will have a sit down with the magistrate we will have a sit down with the prosecutors we wanted to know i even knew the npa how how much distance are we gonna walk sing i feel opinion then there was this day there was this case uh the rap east was um the alleged rapist was um a young a young guy who had just completed his mechanic no was it chemical no mechanical engineering and he was then um he had just started working he was still new like it was his first or second month at silverton engineering down in Pretoria what happens is that he was um, arrested uh, then Mtuanalo screamed then abandoned you something is wrong then he had kidnapped Lumtoana so that kind of a story he kidnapped then um rap eat that mtana for the whole night some um, the mtana was around 16 between 16 and 18 around about 16 and 19. then uh he went to jail he went to jail no bail was given no bail was given Ne? no bail was given now he was saving trial within the jail uh without any bail i think he's the one actually who even refused to take the bail for safety reasons probably because of uh the community was rallied outside now young this is how humanity I was at the forefront. Few months in, we have a lot of I lied. 
I lied. I was scared because Uowami Nami, we went and had a rendezvous for the night. Now, when I came back, I did not know what I'm going to tell uh, my parents. And moreover, I was even in deeper cut because my boyfriend was standing at the gate when this one who is actually my side was capering me home in the morning and then mina then counters into zam so i'm going to get a, a car in the morning bangaga vugi and i was gonna do one two three a car but then now black at the gate so now a car by as i did not sleep at home and 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 i was in the cock so i had to come up with um i had to come up with a quick quick plan and right there i'm pegazele kaya i screamed then my boyfriend saw me and lord didn't run because didn't know what why am i screaming umaga figa la piana i told Oh, I mean, what Lona did this to me? I was my color and a baby corner. Then, bam bam bang. I'm a washing cost bigger. I know a proper law. Oh my God, so I a jail. The R A P East. Be bam foot to mazil. Oh my God, figa a jail. By the community. Okay. Now that being the story, when that guy goes to make G's podcast and talks about me, exactly what words must come out of his mouth? Let's remember, Uti. Yes, they might. It is possible, Uti. No, he actually did it. I'm sure, man. Just must. We want to. Ma. As as Uti went zagale, I'm sure, man. Like for example, in Tolles most circumstance is that the only thing in Punyugu Silo Wuti story siga nanas as Shangani he she's now talking about Amatak energy siga Tolles Mo being the one who are doing the fuku fukus. Gulum Dana Nanangati Nami Atawa. It's possible Uti he intimidated Lumtuana. That is why Lumtuana is now changing the story. Ne? Bottom line, irrespective. Was Guti now? He is a young chap himself. Bayalingana, more or less. They are within the same age group. I think now myself, a young lad, he was around Aboma 2021. Because he, uh, I'm a qualification work away from a native college. Guys, this young chap who had his entire future in front of him, a mechanical engineer who lost his job because of that. And now people are going to continue seeing him as that thing. Let's say Ubago Megji's podcast. What exactly are going to be his words when now he describes me? Uti yas beguna this lady who was pulling, who was pulling, man. How 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 exactly do I expect him to? Of course, I was not to blame. But then how do you expect him to describe you? Of course, he's going to he's going to describe me as low in long at you long at you Low and low monga to be a kiss on Paul and you need I doubt he, he's going to come out and say that magnificent lady, that powerhouse of a lady. In Jovuas, Pagatua Bafazi, why Bamba Pambi, Wang Moshikama. 
I doubt he's going to put it like that. I doubt he's going to sing my praises when he gives the account of what happened to him. So now, Konamanje U Tolesmo, when he wants to retaliate, what must happen? He must now come back and say that he wants to sue for a, a wrongful whatever. Let's be Zama U DJ Fresh. Let's be Zama U DJ Fresh. And actually, DJ Fresh did not actually uh, zamat. He went and really did it and actually won a lawsuit against Unziki Mazwai. One that I am actually mean against. Uguti, what does that say for the RAPE victims? Should I be RAPE right now and I go to court and I the uh the state loses that case do i now um right after being victimized by the culprit and experiencing secondary victimization at the hands of the state and the medics and all of those things and the situation as it is i must now on top of that come back and get sued Simply because the courts could not find the culprit guilty. And at the same time, we cannot ask for an automatic guilty for everyone because then what happens to Lababa Joka Gabi Abazoti Nanikal? And as my lovely people, let's continue the conversation in the comment box. And but I'm waiting. Let's go take a picture on your own. We'll take a picture later. I'm waiting. Okay. So let's continue the conversation down in the comment box and yeah, pull my train of thought. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, put me train of thought. Okay, my lovely people, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification button.